when it comes to Jesus' last words on earth, I mean, like, the last thing he told us to do, I think, generally, not not everybody, but I think we've messed it up. I mean, I, I think we've missed the point of it. And today I want to start helping us realign with what Jesus told us to do. Maybe there's something that you're missing here, something that you're doing that you shouldn't be or not doing that you should be. Anyway, check out the video. Don't go anywhere. That's what we're going to talk about today. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. As always, thanks so much for hitting the play button. That's a huge encouragement to me. And if you'd like to encourage me even more, there's a couple of other things you could do. You could just simply hit the like button and that that encourages me uh, really because it helps my channel. It, It tells YouTube that people like this video and so then other people will get to see this video. And then the other thing you can do that would encourage me even more is if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And of course, if you were encouraged or challenged by this video, please share it with other people that you think might be. So let's jump into it today. What is this thing that I kind of feel like maybe we've missed? Well, first thing that I want us to do is is to to know that you really are kind of jumping into a a series. I, I've been doing a series of videos on what we would call the Great Commission, and so uh, there are some videos that I would love to to tell you about real quick. The first one that I would love to have you watch is Who Makes Disciples. I want you to check that video out, and then also the next video you could check out is Why Are We Here? And then lastly, uh, bef- after you watch this, check out the authority that Jesus gives. And if you watch those videos, that's going to catch you up and help you understand a lot of things. Uh, But again, thanks for watching this one, and we're going to just get into it now as we try to understand this. So Matthew 28, 18 through 20, what you and I would probably consider or call the Great Commission, it says, and Jesus came and said to them, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you, and behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. What I want us to pull out of this today is literally one word, one word. Jesus says, go and make disciples. This is his command to us. This is his last words. He commissions us. He gives us the authority, the authorization to go make disciples. And the one word that I want us to pull out of this, the key word that I think we're, we've missed is the word go. Jesus says go. And, and, and what I'm about to say is probably uh, simplistic. It probably seems really simplistic, but let me explain myself. So when we think about go, what is the first thing that you think about? Go is an action word. It's not a sit around word. It's an action word. It literally means to move. Jesus says move. Move to where people are. Now, before you turn the video off or you say, well, I'm not packing up my things and moving, hold on, because that's not exactly what I mean. I'm not saying that everybody needs to pack up all their things and move, but Jesus tells you and I that we need to move to where people are, or in other words, take action. Don't wait for people to come to you. Don't wait for lost people, for spiritually needy people to come into your life. Go to them. Because if we sit around and wait, they might not even come into our lives. Luke 19.10, I've talked about this before, but it says, For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. Jesus came to seek out. He was. He came to earth. He went. He left heaven to go. And then he looked for, he searched for the lost. The word literally means seeking, means to plot against. This is a deliberate action that Jesus took for you and I. This was a plan that was plotted out before the beginning of 
creation. It was, and, and Jesus walked through this plan. He intentionally put himself where spiritually needy people were. So Jesus is telling you and I to go, get out of our comfort zone, get out of our own, really our own lives in a lot of ways and start looking around us and take a deliberate action to go intentionally put yourself where spiritually needy people are. We had a missionary a few weeks back that used this phrase, and I'm going to use it all the time. He said, you and I need to go find a fishing hole. Jesus says, I will make you fishers of men. We need to go find a place where the fish are biting. And any good fisherman knows you go and find the best fishing hole. Go find yourself a fishing hole to fish for men. We, we need to, to go. We need to put action as Christians. Every single Christian put action to our, to our lives to live out the Great Commission. You and I today are the hands and the feet of Jesus. He left. He's in heaven. He's preparing a place for us. He left us here so that we could be his hands and feet so that we could go. Go is an action word, the opposite of an action word, the opposite of go. I told you this was going to sound easy, but the opposite of go is what? It's stay. And, and so many times, I think, as Christians, we, we miss this. It's, it's not to stay. Jesus never commanded us. Now, listen to me when I say this. Jesus never commanded us to invite people to church. Think about that for a minute. He told us to go make disciples. He didn't call tell us to bring them in. See, what we do is we bring them into our church, expecting the pastor to preach to them, expecting the pastor to give them the gospel. And then we, we organize our churches as pastors because people are coming into our churches unsaved. We, we organize our churches. We set up our churches in such a way that, that we want our churches to be attractive to them. But Jesus didn't say that. Jesus said the church should be a training ground for his disciples so that the disciples can go. I'm not saying they should never be in church. As you lead them to Christ, bring them into church. But we are commanded to go and give the gospel to people. Our churches will will look so different when we understand that, that we need to be going to them. When we win them, then we bring them. But we too many times take the easy way out, and we hope that by inviting them to church, then pastor will preach to them. And then we miss really even the rest of this command of making disciples. Now, I told you this earlier, this command to go does not necessarily mean every single one of us are called to be missionaries, what we call missionaries. We're not called to pack up our things and go overseas, all of us. Some are, but we aren't all. But here's what we are all called to do. We are all called to go. What does this mean? That means for you and I, some of us, we need to get up and go across the street to our neighbors. Maybe you don't even have to go that far. Maybe you need to go across the fence to your next door neighbor. Or maybe we need to walk across the aisle where we work to the cubicle next to us. But we need to intentionally put ourselves in the lives of unsaved or spiritually needy people. Maybe you just need to find something that you enjoy doing in your community where you know spiritually needy people are, so you can go find a fishing hole. Go to them. The word plot against them means, hey, I'm going to invite my neighbor. They might be unsaved. I don't even really know them, but I'm going to invite them over, and we're going to have a cookout, and we're just going to hang out, and we're going to get to know each other because little by little, I want to put myself in a place where I can earn the opportunity and I can have the opportunity to share the gospel with them. Hopefully, sit down and have a Bible study with them and begin to share what Jesus has done for them. But we can't do that if we stay. We can't do that if we don't go. Jesus told every single Christian to go. That's why we are here. We're told to go and make disciples. Thanks again for watching. Again, subscribe, hit the little bell so that you don't miss any videos. If this is the kind of content you're looking for, I upload a video almost every week, and I'm really starting to to shift my, my the content of my channel towards the Great Commission living idea and and disciple making. There will be other videos, but I really want people to begin to understand what it means to live out the Great Commission as God has been teaching me, as God has been teaching our church over these last few years. So please stick around, hit the subscribe button, and you will see all of the videos that I mentioned popping up here 
please click on one of those and watch them as well. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching.